there was a piece that came out, uh, actually a thread, Dick Schwank. I don't know if that's his real name. <laughs> no, it's Dirk. I'm sorry. I can't read. Dirk Schwank has a... Uh, Still sounds like a porno name. It does, sorry. doesn't it? Yeah. So uh, he has a Twitter thread that he put out about you know uh, half a day ago. And he said, what did Mueller say about Bernie Sanders? He said, there's a lot that is still redacted in the Mueller report, so it's impossible to know everything that Mueller had to say about Sanders and his compatriots, but here's a few tip- tidbits. The Russian Internet Research Agency indicated, in, uh, excuse me, indicted by Mueller, operated by the GRU, used his influence to attack Hillary and boost Bernie Sanders. From the beginning, the Russians supported Sanders and Trump opposed and opposed Hillary. These facts were laid out by Mueller long before the report, and the IRA indictment was unsealed February 16, 2018. It specifically said that the Russians were using social media ops to boost Sanders and hurt Hillary Rodham Clinton. And it goes on to talk about that. Um, So we know that the Russians had a very, very large involvement in the 2016 election. Uh, How much did they hurt Hillary during the primary? Sanders lost. Yeah. How much did, did that hurt her going into the general? We know that she also had miscues and missteps in her own campaign. That could The one that stood out for me the most was that Philadelphia rally. Why weren't you in the middle of Philadelphia where the mm-hmm. folk actually you needed to vote? Philly was going to always vote for you. You didn't yeah. need to have Beyonce and Jay-Z and Katy Perry and all them people in Philly. Yeah, Bring their asses out to the middle of where nobody ever goes. Yeah. Do the Tyler Perry strategy. Anyway, um, so that's interesting. Uh and and now it came out that Bernie and I'm I'm wondering if Elizabeth Warren is outing him because she feels attacked by his people. But if he said this to you, why didn't you say it when he said it, Elizabeth Warren? And I'm not criticizing. I'm just saying. Yeah. You know, it the timing of it. The timing know, feels very Omarosa ish. Yeah, yeah, you're like I'm. <laughs> I'm take. I was taking the high road before, so now you're not. Like I, yeah. so she leaked that um, Bernie said to her that I thought a woman could win. I, she said to him, "I think a woman a woman could win," and he disagreed. Okay, I mean, a lot of people didn't think a woman could win. Yeah. A lot of people didn't think a black man could win. Yeah. A lot of black people didn't think a black man could win. Yeah. Uh, for the record, Hillary Clinton beat the brakes off of uh, Bernie Sanders, and she beat Trump by two point five million actual votes. Right. Like, so a woman actually. Had a really good chance of winning. Yeah. Her margin in the primary to Bernie was less than Obama's was against her. Was it? Mm-hmm. Okay, so she didn't beat the brakes off him. She just beat him. No, well, what I'm saying is, is that her margin was higher. Oh, okay. All oh, right, you said higher. Higher. Right. Okay, uh, all right. I thought okay. you said okay. I thought right. you said lower. Yeah, that's what yeah, I thought you said. Yeah, that's... All right. I think, I think, the, I think the, Bernie, the Bernie stuff really hurt Hillary, too. One, because even though she beat the brakes off of Bernie, the sentiment that was out there, the vitriol that that the Bernie campaign and his surrogates and and his fans and the people that he never really disavowed, the vitriol that they came after her with, the way that they attacked her, the way that they that they didn't attack her on policy, they attacked her on her husband, they attacked her on 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 pizza gender, <laughs> pizza game, <laughs> like they oh, weird. all kinds of all the kinds emails. of myths and yeah. e- the emails, the whole nine yards. Literally, Bernie supporters were still in their in their Bernie bro state state and talking about. See, we told you. When the whole when the whole email thing came out that we're gonna reinvestigate the server or whatever, or the FBI is gonna is gonna still look into the server thing. The Bernie people still never really got behind Hillary. No, and part of it was because their fearless leader never really got behind her. And I feel like that if you wanna know how much that that man really cares about America and how much that man really cares about um, about democratic values and how much that man really cares about what he has sworn in terms of his um, love for the republic. You look at how he treated Hillary Clinton. You look at how he acted and engaged with his base after he lost. He was a com- he was a complete fame whore in the whole thing. I think he got addicted to the fame. He got addicted to the clapping and addicted to, addicted yeah, to the likes. And he didn't want to give it up. And he wanted to keep on in the process. And he he did not do what she did with Obama. I agree. I agree. 
I agree. Patriot. And that speaks to me to his character, and uh, and it also speaks to me about his patriotism. It also speaks to me about the way this man feels about the responsibility that he's going after. Do you why, why you really want it, Bernie? Let's go to the phones. 866-801-8255. Uh, Craig in Chicago, welcome. Hey, how you doing, Karen? Good. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Welcome. Okay. Thank you. Um, yeah, you just uh, brought up um, Hillary, excuse me, not Hillary, but Hillary too, but Warren and uh, what she said Bernie said. That seems strange considering Bernie actually came to Warren um, and encouraged her to run against Hillary. When she did not, he then picked up the mantle and ran against Hillary. So well, that was before he knew. Win. I mean, what Drew was saying was nobody. I remember Bernie's first rally w- was a bunch of chairs. Yeah. I remember, like, no one showed up for it. And then something happened. He turned a corner and became super popular. So what Drew was saying is that he caught the vapors. So I'm sure he absolutely did go to Elizabeth Warren. I think that that was her year to run, actually. Me that too. was her year to run. I would have preferred her to run over Hillary. I was, and Biden's. And, yes. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. If he thought that a woman couldn't win, why would he encourage Warren to run at all? I don't know. You know, so you're calling BS on Elizabeth Warren? Absolutely. Okay. And so uh, Drew just said that uh, he didn't like what Bernie did um, concerning uh, supporting Hillary. He campaigned his butt off for Hillary, um, and his butt? more of his voters voted for uh, Hillary than Hillary's voters voted for Obama. Mm. And you're basing that on what? Anybody. <laughs> yeah, these are talking points. I, I, I don't, I don't see these facts. Where are the facts? Yeah. It's something. It's, it's something. No, that what, I heard. can I get a link? It's something you heard, but is there a link somewhere that we could research that to be? It's true? something I heard on BernieBros.com. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, listen, I don't, I'm not here to trash you yeah. for you know your support of Bernie Sanders because you know, vote for whomever, but let's let's talk in facts, not in generalities and not in things we heard. Where did you guys get the information that you just stated about him not supporting Hillary? Uh, that- from the number of people that didn't show up, the hundred million people that didn't vote, the hundred million, hundred million people that didn't vote in the general election. That was because of, because of Bernie and not and not Hillary. And do you really feel like do you feel like that Bernie Sanders actually gave a gave full throated support to Hillary Clinton after after she shellacked him in the um in the, uh, the primaries? primaries? That was some hostage with campaign all, that he with, was with doing. A, with all yeah. of the campaign rallies that he went to, with all of uh, the times he got on TV and tried to rally his base uh, uh, rally his base around Hillary. Yes, absolutely, I do. Okay, all right, listen. He, he's we not, agree he's to disagree, gonna, bro. We're going to, and we love you. Bye, yeah. Craig. Steve in Baltimore. Hey, Steve. Hi. Hi. Steve. Steve, hello. hello. Oh, hi. Hi. How are you doing today? We're good. How are you? I'm wonderful, thank you for taking my call. You're welcome. I wanted to, um, I wanted to put something out there about that, uh, you guys kind of, I don't know if you're aware of it or not, but Bernie actually did win the Democratic primary. Where? Which uh, one? If you, can, if you, you can do a Google search on uh, it right I, now. I'm looking at the out. numbers right now. Hillary won 16 million, 16.9 million versus 13.2 million by 3.7 plus million vote margin. She won 34 contests. He won 23. She had 2,800 delegates. He had 1,800 delegates. Uh, the the thousand delegate mark is a shellacking. Yeah. So I don't know if you uh, you remember uh, Bernie delegates walking out, and um, because that was because they actually um, rigged the, the system for Hillary to win. Oh come and on! Again, I'm not. Come on, stop it. Yeah. But this is going to be a problem. Yeah. This is still a problem. Yeah. This is still a problem. And part of it, part of the reason why it's a problem, Karen, is because Bernie has never said to all of the people who are out there with the conspiracy theories. He's very Trump he in said, that way. Well, he did say, uh, who gives a damn about her A-mouse? Yeah. That's what he said. Yeah, he who did. Who gives a damn about her? <laughs> His moment to fix it was that speech he did at the DNC. And he made it more like a farewell speech to his yeah. own campaign. Right. Yeah. And people crying about him and stuff. It's like, no. Dude is a narcissist. This he is a, is this a is narcissist a... and a fame whore. And people who are doggedly supporting him still over Hillary right now? Um, um, mm. Something, something, something like, mm, I don't know. I don't know, brothers. 